So here's a short video about using crop zoom on Panasonic cameras, which became available with the January firmware update. I did another video uh, showing you how to do the update. And this is one of the features that comes along, and I do think it's very good indeed. Let's take a look. So you switch your camera on, and you want to go into the menus here, uh, go to your video settings, and work your way down here to others. Uh, video camera with three dots under. Come on, Lumix, sort out these menus. It's like 1995. Okay, and then um, come down to crop zoom video. You see mine's already on. Um, and there are some settings here that you can change. I think the focal length display setting is the best. Uh, you can uh, show the crop number as well, but uh, focal length is rather good. And then there is a zoom speed setting here. Now I've got my speed set to the same on both. We've got uh, high, low, medium, and super low, maybe. Or slow. Do you think that could be slow? Slow. Uh, and that is the slowest. And I've got them set to the same, uh, both recording and uh, when you're uh, standing by ready to record. This is mapped by default to the ring setting. And I have that set, like this look, to ISO, which I find very much the easiest way to work with it. But if you activate it with a right click or a left click, you'll see that we've brought up focal length. So if you use the up and down uh, buttons here on the circle -y thing, you'll see it steps through the equivalent focal lengths that you're getting with the zoom. And if you go to the left or right, it will zoom up or down to the maximums uh, in an instant. So here it is again. Uh, you can go quickly to your zoomed in or out. And you can go slowly. Now, I have found that you can pull zoom with it. Um, and in which case, uh, you just want to keep your thumb on, on the button and let it scroll up as slowly as you can. And it's not really slow enough for that purpose. And the zoom isn't 100% smooth, but it is pretty good. I think it's usable for YouTube stuff. You wouldn't be using it for cinema, but then you probably wouldn't be using a Panasonic S5 II for cinema either. Now let's try it in the field. So I really like this because, in my case, I've got a couple of uh, Sigma primes and I really like the lenses. I really like the way the image is rendered. And now I've got a little bit more flexibility uh, getting that just, you know, you've set up your tripod, you think it's framed right and you realise it's just a little bit wide and you can just come in and, you know, just a little bit and you're preserving the same quality. OK, I hope that was helpful. If it was, please tune in again. Bye bye.